It's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079 and home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your foe, B High Radio Shouty. Stepping in the building, I got the original hot boy himself in this thing, my dog Turk. What's whoa, good whoa, with it, boss? Whoa, whoa, what's happening with it, B High? You don't really know what it is. Why ain't he the mob, man? I mean, yeah, hold up, Turk, or should yeah. I say, hold up, LeBron? Hold I mean, up, talk LeBron. to me about this new hold banger up, right here, boy. Hold up, LeBron. Man, that record was inspired. We was at All Star Week. We had like a private party, and um, you know, it was a hot boy reunion. Yeah. You know, um, everybody, BG went now. You know, his situation. Yeah. And um, LeBron basically was like, um, man. He came out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? He was like, man, I want to let y'all know, man, because this is my party. I ain't know it was, it was his party. Yeah. This is my party. These are the boys I grew up with. We got and named all us, and I was like, yeah. hold up, hold up, hold up, LeBron, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And free BG. I had uh. to make sure that we say free BG. Exactly. And LeBron, if you watch the video, LeBron was on some free BG. Exactly. You we had to let that be understood. And when I left it, man, like everybody was like, man, you told the king to hold up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How you gonna tell LeBron to hold up? But it wasn't on no disrespect. Exactly. It just was, I would have did that to anybody, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And it became a slang, like when you got something to say, That's right. hold up, LeBron. You know what I'm saying? That's hold up, cold. LeBron. That's cold. Hold up, LeBron. And mm-hmm. I just talked that stuff on the record, man, and it's a banger, man. Been out two weeks, it's doing crazy numbers. Yeah. And um, we shooting a video actually next month in um Atlanta. Oh, man, that's yeah. cold. I mean, yeah. talk to me about this new music, though, Turk. I mean, is this part of a new mixtape or whatever, a project nah, that you're just dropping a single it's on? A, it's, it's a new project on my yeah. last album as a solo artist, Yeah, um, Young and Thuggin' 3. You know, yeah. Young and Thuggin' was my first solo album mm. with Cash Money, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, I did Young and Thuggin' 2 mixtape, mm-hmm. and everybody like, we ain't gonna drop your album. You know, I was feeling the game. I was feeling, you know, I was gone yeah. for a minute, so it took me a minute to really find me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I found it, man, and I'm like, okay, it's time to get him the album. But I'm not rushing the album. I dropped two singles, yeah. Hold Up LeBron, Catching the Wing right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the priority single. Exactly. And um, Young and Thuggin' 3 dropping this year, you know what I'm talking about? Now, take me back to that Hot Boy reunion, though, man, because, I mean, what was it like getting the gang back together like that, though? Man, it was crazy, man, you know, um... Like I said, it was a private party, man. You had Fat Joe there, yeah. DJ Khaled, LeBron, yeah. like all the ball players. You know, um, 21 Savage was there, um, 2 Chain. Yeah. You know, the whole Young Money. Like, it was crazy because, like, we walked in there and it was like, I'm like, I'm looking for a VIP run because I'm an artist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, they didn't gave me 10 bands to come mm-hmm. through. So I'm like, man, you know, I need my VIP. I need my drinks. I need my yeah. moed, you know what I'm saying? But... My manager, he walked me through it like, man, ain't no VIP. And when I realized like, I had my shades on, yeah, man, everybody is a celebrity. Yeah, everybody in here, you know VIP what I'm in yeah. Thing. So yeah. everybody just it was a fun party. Yeah, and that's when I calmed down. I'm like, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And man, we just had fun. A lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, you know, moments. Man, we we rap bling bling. Yeah, I need a hot girl. Me and Wayne performed that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? The crowd went crazy. You know that's classic. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um. You know, like it was, it was, it was gravy, man. Like I like to do that more and more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? Take it to a tour. Is that? I yeah. mean, did that spark anything in y'all though, man? Did yeah. that make y'all say, you know what? We need yeah. to get back in this studio and crank yeah. this thing up. Put BG on see, the phone. See, and- see, it be, it be like, like our intentions is to bring it around the world. You yeah, know what I'm man, and fresh is right now in the process trying to bring the whole cash money rough rider to the game. Ooh, so. That's a vision that, you know what I'm saying, he didn't put out there. You know, mm-hmm. everybody, you know, going through their own little thing and everybody got their own movement and, mm-hmm. and their own timing. And, you know, with timing, man, everybody got to get on time, That's get right. on the same accord. But, you know, I believe it going to happen, man, because the, the the fans calling for it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't necessarily us. Yeah. It's what they want. It's yeah. been 20 years and they still saying, when y'all going to do a hot boy reunion? When y'all going to do a cab money reunion? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's going to happen. What goes through your mind, though, Turk, when you realize the impact that the hot boys had on folks? You know, you see somebody like King James himself saying, you know what, I grew up on their music. Yeah. This was some of the stuff that I was riding the practice to. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it, it was crazy, especially coming from the King. Yeah. You know, um, you know, there's a lot of people, I, I believe, if you didn't want to be a hot boy, you're not, boy. You know, <laughs> you're similar to that. And to, to hear LeBron say what he said, how he said it, yeah. in a big event, that that was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, damn, a lot of people feel this way, but yeah. you know, they're not gonna say it. And it's to this day, man, I still feel regular, man. I don't yeah. you know, people be like, man, you're a legend. I wanted to be you when you were coming up when I was coming up. Yeah. But 
you know, it, it ain't never hit me, man. You know what exactly. I'm saying? I, I'm that humble about it. You know, I just do what I love to do, you know, and um, it keep on pushing, man. You know what I'm saying? But now talk to me about the reconciliation with everybody, though, man. I mean, the love. Yeah, man. It took How did a y'all find that, it, man? It, it, it took a minute for us to get there because <laughs> we all I'm got saying? big egos. Yeah. You know, but, um, man, we came to, like, like actually me and Juve, man, like, that was the biggest you know, reconciliation out me and Big Bro, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, um, you know, like, we got an overstanding. It took, like, two you know. meetings for us to get that overstanding. Yeah. You know, but the second one, we, like, you know, like, I talked with, 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 with him and he talked with me and, yeah. like, we really, like, took it there. Like, man, yeah. man, you Big Bro, man, such, 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 you know what I'm saying? Giving each other advice. Mm -hmm. And that was a big moment for me. I ain't lying because I never had no personal problem with yeah. None of those guys, you know what I'm saying? I probably went on and said all kind of crazy stuff because <laughs> that's how I used to be. That's how I felt. Yeah. But it wasn't never to the point where, man, I'm going I'm, to I'm kill him. I'm a, yeah. I want to see him die. I, it wasn't never none of that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just yeah. brothers falling out, you know what I'm saying? But I'm good with everybody, man. You know what I'm talking about? How do you feel getting readjusted to the game? Because see, you done been out here in these streets for a minute now, yeah, Turk. Yeah, and I can tell, I can yeah, see the look in your yeah, eye right now that yeah, you back. You yeah, see I'm what back, I'm saying? I'm yeah, Talk to me about that right. and just getting adjusted yeah. to the pop star life again, man. Man, it's just like being in jail, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we creatures yeah. of habit. I just adjusted to what was going on. Like, it took it took a minute. Mm -hmm. And every day I'm steady learning, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Man, at first I couldn't get with the trap beats. Now nah, that's yeah. all you I wanna hear now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um I ain't wanna hear some of the youngsters, but now I'm like, damn, they creative, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They just doing it different. You know, and I learned from everybody. I learned from my twin. My twin three years old, you know, uh -huh. I learned from my wife. You know, I just I, I live to learn and, yeah. and that's what's going on with me now, man. I'm growing up yeah. and I'm maturing, you know what I'm saying, to the point where I'm not this Turk that I was when I first came yeah. home. You know, so I'm just changing, man. And mm -hmm. to be, believe it or not, more doors are opening exactly. with me humbling myself <laughs> into that punk. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. I got to ask you, though, man. It's been a year. Bank roll. Man. Talk yeah. to me about y'all relationship, man, and how that affected you. Man, it, it affected me in a major way because me and Bank used to talk on the phone. Like, that was my little bro. Yeah. He was one artist that expressed, man, big bro, my mama used to say I look like you, like, like, me and him used to have that type of conversation. Like, yeah. I just, and I ain't know him but number two years. Yeah. You know, and he reached out to me, man, and we just used to stay in contact ever, ever since, you know what I'm saying? And two days before he got killed, we FaceTimed each other because we was supposed to be shooting the Ur remix video uh -huh. with me, him, and Boosie. Yeah. You know, and, man, he was like, man, let's do it. We was going to shoot it on Smith Street, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, man, his last tweet. Was to me the day he got killed. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, man, he, he basically was like, man, Turk working. He out here. He yeah. ain't stopping. Bam, bam, bam. And man, when I got the phone call, actually from Rich Homie Quine producer DT yeah. Spacely, he called me. Like I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, damn, what well, bank? I just talked to him. I just hollered at him. So it was like, damn, well, who would wanna? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how I felt. So it, it 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 affected me. I actually had to go in front of. Uh, um, what the name? Street is like studio. Yeah. And I had to really like go out there to see it for myself. Yeah. You know, and um, man, it, I keep in contact today with his pops, his mom, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And um, you know, it's a sad situation, man. But long live Bank, man. Like, like Bank was on his way, bro. Exactly. He's on his way. His music is, is, is classic. You ain't never yeah. lied about that. It's classic. Now, I see you got the fam with you today, though, Turk. For real, I keep the fam Talk with me, Talk to man. me about that. Yeah, we got Imani and Made Woman, mm -hmm. you know, my artist and my wife. You know, yeah. she the one held it down eight year, eight months, 16 days. You know, um, we got King Dirt, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we got Cliff Davis, you know what I'm saying, Kodak, you know what I'm saying. And and we all working, man. Like, like we just striving. We hustling, bro. You know what I'm saying? We getting it in. We in the studio. We was at Patchwork last night working. Yeah. Shout out to Benzino. Mm -hmm. Shout out to AMS, Elvin May, G Fields. You know, everybody, man. We just putting it all together, making it make sense. We doing movies. We ain't doing videos. You yeah. did. Yeah, we shooting movies, man. That's what we doing around here. YNT AMS. That documentary, though, Turk, because, see, I'm looking for that, man. <laughs> yeah. You understand yeah, me? Yeah, you done yeah, already yeah, hit me yeah, to it. I mean, yeah. what's going on with man, that, brother? You know, bro, like, like, I, I took I took two steps, but I had to take like ten steps back because uh -huh. it wasn't the right move for me. Yeah, you know, and um, like it's 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 actually like forty minutes into it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? 
but it's like it keep on adding on, like, man, something missing, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And um, I'm going to give it to him, bro. I'm going to yeah. give it to him, man. You know, like, I believe that a lot of people realizing that Turk home now. Yeah. I'm thinking that they knew I was home, yeah. even though I've been home four years. But people still be like, like when I go live on Instagram, mm -hmm. man, he home. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I'm like, man, I still had work to do. So yeah. I want to give it to him in the right timing. That's right. You know, you can't just, bam, and it's just going to be left alone, man. Yeah. My life is like a movie. So when they get it, they're going to learn something from it, and they're going to be grateful for it. You know what I'm saying? Being back out here maneuvering and getting busy, man. I mean, what are some of the things that you done picked up now that you adjusted to and, you know, allowed you to really get back in the game and start honing your craft again? Man, just really, like, focusing on my label. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's the main thing. Being a CEO, that's, that's, that's a new stage for me. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm ready to take on it. You know, I feel like I didn't did so much in the game, mm -hmm. you know, and just like anybody else that started their label, Man, we started together, so yeah. why shouldn't I do mine and run my labor, put other people on? Exactly. You know, so just the whole aspect of learning how to be a boss, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's, it's good being able to do what you want to do, mm -hmm. you know, and not having to be on a timetable with somebody else. Like, I wake up, and, and if I want to do this, I do it. If I want to yeah. drop a song, you can't tell me not to. Exactly. That's why they be like, man, Turk, man, you dropping too many songs. They don't know what's <laughs> priority, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, even with that, man, you know, it's, it's all a learning process, man. Yeah. Like, I'm just... Figuring the game out, man, to make it better for my artists, you know. Exactly. And my wife is Imani the Made Woman. We got her single, yeah. you know. Um, fuck up the world. Excuse my language. You I'm did. with you. But um, yeah, yeah, we gotta shoot the video out here again for that. You know, like Atlanta, just you everything, just man. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm, playing, coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, Come I'm coming. Come on, man. I'm coming. I'm okay, coming. okay, because it's time for that. It's time. See, I was on paper, so I'm off paper okay. now, so yeah. now I can move. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's too much going on down here. You know, we got love for you in the city, too. Man, much love. And uh, it's going to be exciting to see what the hell you're about to pull off in this yeah. thing. What yeah. else you got on the way, Turkey? Anything else you need to get off your man, chest, my dog? Man, you know, I just want everybody to know, like, like I start this campaign, F the Beef, Let's Eat. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like, on the real, like, like I, I, I reached out to, to, to Soldier Boy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Chris Brown, when they had the whole situation going on, the rapper fight. You know, I came up with that idea. Y'all pulling these guns out, man. Everybody want to be tough. You know what exactly. I'm saying? And, and I think it worked. I think it, it touched some of the ears because you don't really see it that much exactly. no more. Exactly. You know, and um, that's that's basically, man, I, I, I want positivity in the game. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I got to lead by example, and that's what I'm doing. I didn't tone my attitude down. I slip sometimes, but on. you know what I'm saying? Like, we all brothers, man. You know, brothers and sisters, I feel like we should be able to get along. You know them country singers. They don't. They don't beef with each other. They get money. Come so on. you know, I mean, with that hip hop all we got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if we take that away from ourselves, we don't got nothing. And then jail also in the graveyard. with it coming from a real place though, because yeah. see, you got family that done passed. You yeah. know, friends that done passed. And when you say that, hey man, this is real, and it affects people in the real way. Yeah. It's not cute. Because, see, a lot of times it seems like folks think that the murder game is cute nah. until it hit their doorstep. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, no, this ain't cute, man. This is real. Yeah. We ain't going to see this person no more. Yeah. And you might wind up down the road for the rest of your life and don't nobody want to see you go down the road for the rest of your life either. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. So that's one of the things that I say when I saw that I had to salute you on that because yeah. I totally understood where you was coming from yeah. with that. And, I mean, what else was it that made you haul off and take that stance, though? Cause no OGs in the game ain't speaking. They wanna be like the young dudes. They wanna dress like them. They wanna talk like them. They feel like this the way it gotta be. I'm not about to do that because when I call some of these dudes directly, they be like they be humble to me. They don't yeah. be rah rah rah. I don't see that side. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So to know that they look up to me, yeah. whether they do it in private or whether they do it in the public. You know what I'm saying? It make me just want to just be that verse, man, and keep on telling them what's right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And let them, let, them, let them see how I live, man. I really did time. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I really was on drugs, shooting heroin and cocaine. Like, I, I, I did all that. Yep. And I didn't change. Now you, I'm married. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I got my family, you know. If you don't see me working, man, I'm, I'm with my kids lurking. That's yeah. what I'm doing. <laughs> my wife and kids, man. I For can real. definitely dig yeah. that. Now, Turk, how can they contact you, my dog? Man, contact me. You already know I'm on Instagram live. I'm on Instagram all day. Yeah. Hot boy Turk underscore the number 32. Um, Twitter, Hot boy Turk the number 32. You know, um, 
everything Hot Boy Turk, man. Original Hot Boy Turk on SoundCloud. Y'all check out that Hold Up LeBron. It's crazy. The link is in my bio. Spin Real Alive mixtape, my mixtape. That piff, man, everywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? And be high on, put that thing in rotation <laughs> for me. Yeah, man, yes, we gonna sir. do it like that, man. Hold up, LeBron. Yeah, dig. 1,000 yeah, with Turk. Real. Appreciate you coming through this thing, my dog. Wish you nothing but the best and much success. Beehive Radio, shout it. It's Hot 1079, man. Let's go.